the only girl who could make Kate jealous. When Kate Middleton issued Prince William with an ultimatum just weeks ago, it was the first such warning she had dished out over the course of their four-and-a-half-year relationship. It came after she had been humiliated by pictures splashed across every newspaper of William dancing on a podium in Bournemouth, intoxicated and groping a pretty Brazilian. But not only that, there seemed to be a pattern to his behavior. William's antics came just days after revelations in this newspaper that he had shared a drunken embrace with a pretty blonde at Bougie's, his favorite nightclub, on a boy's night out. Then there were the rumors that he had taken a shine to a pretty 19 year old blonde and had even invited her back to his barracks. Kate had had enough and words were exchanged. Kate told William that he was making her look bad, one of her friends explained. She has coped for years with girls flinging themselves at her boyfriend and for a while she found it humorous and even flattering. But after his recent behavior she gave him an ultimatum and told him that every time he behaved like that in public he was cheapening her image as well as his own. She told him she wasn't prepared to be treated like a doormat and that his carefree behavior was affecting her image. She gave him quite a pasting. In the past she had always let go of things like that but this really bothered her. Those who know Kate say she had always brushed off rumors of William's roving eye, secure in the fact that they had a tight and loving relationship built on trust and honesty. She seemed to accept that other girls would throw themselves at her dashing young prince and cope admirably with their intrusions. But there is one woman whose attention she simply cannot bear. Isabella Anstruther Goff Calthrop a stunning socialite and budding actress who struck up a close friendship with the prince three years ago, has been a constant presence during William and Kate's relationship. According to sources close to Kate, she is the one woman who turns her green with envy and incites a wave of panic at the very mention of her name. Until now, Isabella's friendship with the prince has been played down and referred to as little more than a crush. Their closeness was first publicly observed in October 2005 when the two were spotted deep in conversation at a black tie ball. So engrossed was the prince with the stunning heiress that Kate stormed out of the ball in a fury. The truth is that William has harbored an infatuation for the stunning 24-year-old for several years, so much so that he was prepared to ditch Kate for Isabella three years ago. But Isabella, the daughter of banking heiress Lady Mary Gay Curzon, and heir to a millionaire fortune in her own right, is one of the few women to have rejected his advances. According to sources, their friendship, which started in 2004, was one of the main reasons William and Kate split that summer. It was the rockiest period of their relationship to date. William told friends that he felt claustrophobic with Kate and wanted to focus on his finals. William said he needed a break and that summer he went on a boys-only holiday to the Greek islands, a source told the Mail on Sunday. Isabella was very much on the scene that summer. I would go so far as to say that William dumped Kate because he thought he had a chance with Isabella and Kate knew that. Kate's a tough cookie, though, and stood aside and waited for William to come back to her which eventually he did. Before that, though, he did everything he could to woo Isabella. He had fallen for her in a huge way and wanted to be with her. He propositioned her several times that summer and although Isabella was single, she knocked William back and said it would be too damaging for her and her career. She is a name in her own right and on her way to becoming hugely successful. In her view, being affiliated with William in a girlfriend capacity would be damaging for her. William was madly in love with her but when he knew there was no chance of them getting together he went back to Kate. Kate was very aware of his obsession with Isabella and she was incredibly threatened by her. Isabella is drop-dead beautiful and wouldn't leave any girl in the shade. Kate accepted William back again but on the condition that he would not speak to Isabella again. While it is always Harry who is accused of being the playboy prince, friends of William note that he has a flirtatious nature and over recent months they say he has pushed the boat out testing Kate's patience. Kate rose above all the rumors and just laughed them off, but something recently snapped in her, says a family friend. She was irritated when she read about his flirting in Bournemouth and she wasn't best pleased to hear about the blonde he ended up with on the dance floor at Bougie's. She was Tess Shepard, a petite blonde whom William met at the club through a mutual friend. 
Teslater told the Mail on Sunday how William had twirled her on the dance floor and embraced her in full view of everyone else there. It was very flattering, said the waif like Ms. Shepherd from her West London home. It's not even like I fancy him, no, I don't think I'll be very popular with Kate. And there have been other girls Kate has had to accommodate. Two of William's ex-girlfriends have remained close to him throughout, Jekka Craig and Arabella Musgrave. Jekka, the beautiful African girlfriend who William was said to have proposed to as a close friend. William met the 25-year-old student on his gap year to Africa and she was famously guest of honor at his out-of-Africa-themed 21st birthday party. Although William was said to have been awkward about Kate and Jekka meeting, the girls were comfortable in each other's company when they were introduced at William's friend Hugh Van Cutsum's wedding. However, during their separation in 2004, William fled to Jekka and saw the New Year in with her at her family home in Kenya. Kate has also had to forge a friendship with Arabella, daughter of Major Nicholas Musgrave, manager of Sirencester Park Polo Club. The pair dated before William went to St Andrews but the relationship fizzled out when he started his first term. Arabella, now head of PR at Gucci, is dating William's friend, brewery heir James Tolmick, and they live together in a flat in southwest London. Kate has inherited most of William's friends so Bella was to be no exception explains a friend. I think at first Kate felt threatened by Bella because she was William's first real love but when she realized that Bella and James were as tight as they are, she relaxed a lot more and Kate and Bella actually get on very well now. Friends at St Andrews say Kate was less accommodating of Olivia Hunt, an aspiring writer whom William met during his first year at St Andrews. William was seeing Olivia when he met Kate and when Kate came on the scene Olivia moved off pretty quickly, said one. Kate was jealous of other girls at St Andrews. There was one from Greece who William took a shine to. Kate had a real problem with her because she and William got so friendly.